The unwillingness of EU citizens to have glyphosate residue in their food when the WHO has deemed it to be probably carcinogenic is entirely understandable and the more than one million signatures on the European Citizens Initiative indicates the intensity of concern. I have received over 500 emails from the people of South West England calling for greater transparency. In a process that was confusing and opaque, Member States chose to reauthorise glyphosate in the face of scientific evidence and widespread public concern. As called for in this report, we need much greater transparency about the process of risk assessment for the food chain to restore public trust. Meaningful reform would be undermined if MEPs vote tomorrow to allow industrial secrecy to trump transparency. If the industry really has nothing to hide, then why preserve so-called industry secrets? People lose faith in their institutions when they can see that information is being concealed or they are being deceived. At a time when a cocktail of substances are entering our ecosystems and our bodies, we need to know how the EU decides whether this causes us harm. Let's shine a light on the dirty work of the agribusinesses that prop up an intensive and unsustainable food system, whilst at the same time finding alternative agroecological solutions to replace the dangerous chemicals that are so widespread in our farming system.